Right, here's our problem. Now, it looks difficult, this question, but I promise you it isn't, okay? You can definitely get full marks on these sort of questions. I'll show you how. Okay, so we're told that this ice cream cone and this cylinder have the same volume, right? We have to find a formula for H in terms of X. So what we need is an expression for the volume of the ice cream cone and an expression for the cylinder. Set them equal to each other and then we'll get the formula for H in terms of X. Okay, so let's start with the ice cream cone. So it's composed of a semicircular dome at the top, which has radius X, okay? So that's a hemisphere, it's half a sphere. So if it were a sphere, okay, so a full sphere, the volume is four thirds pi r cubed, okay? But this is only half a sphere, so therefore the volume of this is going to be two thirds pi r cubed, okay? Half of that. So the volume of this is two thirds pi r cubed, and the, ra the radius r is x, so it's two thirds pi x cubed. Good, okay? Now we need the volume of the cone bit. So we have our cone. Right, we're told that from the top of the ice cream to the tip of the cone is 5x. Now if the radius of the ice cream is x, therefore the height is also x, right? Which means that from there to there must be 5x minus x, so that's 4x. So the height of this thing here is 4x, okay? Now the volume for a cone, the formula is the third pi r squared h, okay? That's the general formula. And our radius is of course x, okay? and the height is 4x. So therefore, our volume is a third pi r squared, so that's x squared, times the height, times 4x, okay? Which is, so we end up with a four over a three, a pi, and an x cubed, okay? Right, so therefore, the total volume of this whole thing is, okay, total volume is two thirds pi x cubed plus four thirds pi x cubed, which is two plus four is six, six over three is two pi x cubed. Okay, so that's our expression for the volume of the ice cream and the cone. Right, now what about this thing? Let's have a change of colour, why not? Right, so volume of a cylinder, pretty simple. The general formula is the area, which is pi r squared times the height. So, right. General formula first, pi r squared h, okay? So in our case, the volume is pi, the radius is 2x, pi r squared, always use brackets when subbing in, okay? It's very easy to make this mistake. Oh, so our radius is 2x, therefore it's going to be pi r squared h, okay? That's 2x squared but 2x all squared is 4x squared, okay? So don't fall into that trap. Use brackets when subbing in. So pi r squared times h, which is just h. Okay, so our volume is, two squared is four, pi x squared h. Okay, simple. Right, we're told that these have the same volume, so therefore that equals that. So let's put them equal to each other. Let's do this in orange. 
So, therefore, 2 pi x cubed is equal to 4 pi x squared h. Right, and we want h in terms of x, which means get h by itself, or make h the subject. So, therefore, h is equal to all that divided by all that, 2 pi x cubed divided by 4 pi x squared. All right, so let's neaten that up. Pi on the top, pi on the bottom, two can go, two there. X squared on the bottom, x cubed on the top, leaving just one x on the top. So, therefore, h equals x over two. There you go. There is our formula for h in terms of x. Nice simple formula. Like I say, don't be intimidated by these questions. You can definitely do them. Okay, that's how it's done.